Jim is Vice President here over Student Services at VATC. You get to have lots of fun and this is one of those events. This is one of the events. We do this on a yearly basis. We uh, get all of our high schools from our service region which covers Cash, Box Elder and Rich Counties. They get to come in and experience the construction and different careers that uh, we offer here at Bridgeland Applied Technology College. It makes such an impact on these kids and you do this annually so you know you've missed the event but you do this every year for these kids and I've talked with a couple of them and they're so excited to find out what's out there that they can do. Yeah, so kids love this because they this is really the only exposure that they get to being able to sit on this heavy equipment, be able to run around. Uh, as you see behind me, they're digging holes in the dirt, learning how to use a backhoe, how to use a skid loader, and this is just a great exposure. Well, and Logan City is down here with so many things. Let's see the fire truck, we've got cement trucks, you've got all of this exterior hard-working stuff, but you also got an interior de department as well. Yes, we do. We have sponsorship from many of our local entities. Logan City is great to come work with us. Um, we have uh, Komatsu, as you can see behind us, they work very closely with us. They donate a lot of equipment so our students can learn on it. Well, what a neat thing to do year after year to give the kids the opportunity to hands-on. I mean, Bridgeland Applied Technology College here is always looking for ways to impact kids and young adults. Well, we're always trying to provide a path so students can find a career that they're going to love be able to get out there and do a job that they'll enjoy for the rest of their lives. Well, and isn't that the key right there? Something you enjoy for the rest of your lives and to have the opportunity to find out about it in such a way as this, not just looking through materials and pamphlets and saying, oh, I wonder. Nothing beats getting your hands on something and getting a little dirty, so to speak. That's right. Well, you have events throughout the year. This is one of them. You have other open house type events? Yes, we'll do a... Uh, in the fall, we'll do a uh, tech expo where we'll bring in all of our local uh, businesses, give them an opportunity to set up, and then in conjunction with that, we'll run a job fair to help people find jobs, as well as we'll give them educational opportunities through the college. And speaking about those educational opportunities, you offer two-year degrees here, so you're actually going to school, walking away at the end of the day with a degree. That's correct. And most of our certificates will run one year. We do have a few that go the two year, but the majority of them are one year certificates so a student can get in, quickly get retrained, and then get back out into a career that they want to be in. Fantastic. Well, right here at BATC, the great party time it looks like right now with the kids. We're going to have a good party for the next, these two days that they're here, and then uh, Hopefully they'll remember us when it comes time to come back for post-secondary education. They will. Thanks so much. So excited and having so much fun. Cody, what are you learning down here today? I'm learning that there's a lot of buttons and cement trucks. There are a lot of buttons and cement trucks and they make a lot of noise, right? Yes. I heard you do something in there. What what kind of things controls did you learn how to do? I learned to do the stick and the horn. Awesome. The horn makes a lot of noise. Tell me your first name. Jordan. Jordan, okay. Tell me about your day here and what do you hope to get out of it? Um, I hope to learn more about what I want to major in and what I am truly fascinated in. Well, excellent, excellent. What you're going to major in, BATC offers so much. Tell me your name. Emily. Emily, did you get a chance at the cement truck? Yes. And tell me about that. It was awesome. Kind of looked like a video game to me. Michael, tell me what you got going on here at BATC. Um, so. Basically, uh, this is just one of the areas that we're doing, and uh, this is just uh, the construction area, pretty much. So it's a construction remote control? Yeah, it's a, it's a remote control robot. Okay, you show me with your hands something that it does, and he'll, he'll zoom in on that. Well, right now it's sort of turned off, but... Oh, he's saying we can actually walk closer. He's giving us instruction that we can come closer. Okay, go ahead. In fact, I'm going to stand over here, so there you go. So. Uh, basically, just it's pretty straightforward. To make it go forward, you just press forward like that. Make it go backward, you press like that. Okay, you make that just continue around for a minute. He's going to film you controlling it. Do you know what it's actually? Is it compressing the dirt? 
Yeah, pretty much. Getting it ready for maybe cement? Yeah. It's just leveling it out. Mostly. Okay, very fascinating. Is this something that you might want to do as you get older? Yeah, it seems pretty interesting. I think it'd be pretty fun. Very good. Well, you're learning right out here at BATC. Enjoy. Continue to do your deal there. Tell me about some of the fun things you experienced today. Well, first thing today, we we uh, we came here to Bridge Land and we went into uh, one of the uh, sheds they have here, and we we our teacher he wanted to have a competition with us, so he had us. We were hitting we were hitting nails, and he was getting all mad, and we beat him. And I got a pencil. We got a pencil and stuff. And then later on today, they had a helicopter come and land. That was pretty neat. Isn't that awesome? That is amazing. And you even beat the teacher. Way to go. Have you experienced any of the big machinery? Yeah, when we when we when the bell rang, they let us come out, and we got to drive a uh, back hoe, and we're just waiting to get on the big track hoe here. So it's fantastic to be able to have the opportunity to be here. How was it maneuvering that back hoe? Oh, when we first got on, I'd driven one before. My neighbor has one, but when I got on, I, I never really uh, had to control it. So they explained to me how to control it, and one of you can tilt the bucket and pick the other one up and uh, pull it into you. It's pretty, pretty neat with new machinery these days. So you're having a good time out here today. Yes. Like Dylan, what about you? Uh, the only thing I did, we just barely got here. We just went in, pounded some nails in, got some free stuff, some stickers, went on, played the X, the Connect three, uh, Xbox, and everything. And have you been any of the machinery yet? No, this is going to be my first time uh, on it, the, one of these today. I've been waiting in the line for maybe a couple, 10, 15 minutes. Well, here at BATC, you can actually take courses and get a degree in running this kind of machinery. Is that something you might want to do? Yeah, I would like to do that. That sounds like fun. Well, it's an exciting place to be right here at BATC. Thanks, Dylan. Thanks, Brayden. Thank you. Trevor Fallows, tell me about this interesting demonstration behind us. Yes, this is the seatbelt convincer. Um, it's a crash simulator that simulates a crash at about five to seven miles per hour. So it's very, actually quite slow, but you still feel the impact at a head-on crash, you know, what that, what that would feel like, so. Well, and let's even ask, because you guys, you girls just got off of that. How was that experience? It was, like, scary, because, like, <laughs> you always have to wear your seatbelts or you'll go through the window. Because, like, it, like, if you come to a complete stop, you'll still go to, like, the miles you were going. So if you're going five miles, you'll still go five miles without your seatbelt. I think you learned something today, it sounds like. Could you actually feel that pressure of the seatbelt? Yeah, it hurt. <laughs> it did. It grabbed onto your body. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about the fact that you will use a seatbelt again. So you don't like go through the window. It helps you so you can stay alive and go. And you see a big result from that, don't you, oh, Trooper? Yes. yes, yes, we do. I mean, we see crashes all the time, you know, where the seatbelt was the reason they're alive. And then we see other crashes where this, the non-use of a seatbelt is the reason they're dead. And that's so, so sad, you know. So. When you're going five miles an hour or 25 or 55. That's right. That's right. It doesn't matter the speed. There you go. Thanks Always so much. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. So I'm guessing all you girls are excited about cosmetology. Yeah! <laughs> Tell me about your day here at BATC. It's really fun. I like the moisturizing part and it keeps the moisture on your face and it feels really good. So moisturizing part, they actually are teaching you little, little bits of things here? Yeah, they're teaching us how and we're doing little things. We waxed her leg over there and we got to do a little section of her leg. Waxed a leg? Can I be one on the table? <laughs> yeah, um, she's been doing it over and over again and I'm surprised it's not, she's not backed out yet because she's like, it doesn't hurt and she's like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, tell me, are you thinking about it maybe as a career? Maybe, I don't know. But that's what's so great about BATC and coming down to these programs is to learn a little bit. Yeah, it's actually really great. We have different um, options that we can and see what we really want to do later in life. That is the perfect way to end. Different options here at BATC. Have a great day, girls. Thank you very much. Thank you. What kinds of things you're experiencing here today? Um, we've been, I've been driving a backhoe and some tractors, 
um, and I we got to have different levers to um, like dig the dirt and dump it out. Um, and that must have been pretty exciting. Have you ever had the opportunity to drive a backhoe before? No, I haven't. So really, this is a, a quite an experience. Yes, is it, it has. Or easy? Um, once you got the hang of it, it was pretty easy. So. Excellent. Okay, what about you? What have you been doing today? Uh, right over there, I um, they had this um, military thing, and um, you had to have a 20, 25, 30 pound oh backpack on, and you have to do 20 push-ups, and I did that, and I got a t-shirt. Oh my gosh, 20 push-ups, so it was a, some kind of a physical competition. Yeah, it was, it was pretty hard. Well, good for you, and good for earning your, your t-shirt there. Tell me what you're experiencing, and I think it's got something to do with dental. Um, I learned that you have to use different parts of floss to floss your teeth so you don't get the same germs that you had in one part of your mouth into the other part. You know, isn't it interesting here at BT, BATC, the variety of things they offer, from outside equipment to military fitness, to dental care and so much more. Keep enjoying the day, you guys, and have a great day. Thank, Thank you. you. Tell me the skills you're learning right now. Uh, how to carry a person when they're hurt. Oh gosh, well, so if you come across somebody that's hurt, in fact, I'm going to come down here a little bit. When you come across somebody that's hurt, what are they learning? We're teaching them how to C-spine a patient if we suspect any back, neck, or um, neck injuries. So main meaning you hold them completely stiff and still. That's right. Yep, we'll hold them nice and still so they can't move. They're not sliding off this backboard. They're completely secure. I just got here. <laughs> um, well, we're learning how to like help them out when they're hurt and injured or something. Just one of the many things you learn right here at BATC. Thanks, you guys. Oh my word, look at that. You were racing to get the band-aids on. They won because I stopped you. Tell me what's going on here. Um, we're just learning how to bandage up each other, you know, for the medical assisting program. So The so medical assisting program here at BATC. Tell me a little bit more about that. Um, we just learn how to, you know, bandage people, do that. Um, we measure babies. We just learn how to work in the medical office. So Just to help with the doctors. Girls, are you having a great time today? Yeah. And do you feel like you may be learning something? Tell me a little bit about the experience. I think that I'm kind of learning how to do stuff that I never thought I would want to learn. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? It gets you an opportunity to be in something you never thought you'd know. Oh, excellent. Thank you, guys.